Hey guys, you pop on, say hello. Let me know how you're doing and where you're at. more place. Hey guys. Tracy Gorick here. This is my talk talk. It's my weekday chat where we discuss undiagnosed illness and looking at alternatives to find the answers and help you heal. So this morning I woke up and all this stuff was like starting to come in and it's, there's some more than I've talked about before and, and there's some repetitive stuff, but it was like, I'm supposed to, I need to let you guys know like more of my story and where I'm coming from and why I've gotten to where I am to be an in energy healer for undiagnosed illness. So today I did a post and I talked about different situations that I've been through to get where I'm at and why I, you know, have learned to kind of heal and work on myself. So let me start by saying, not saying don't go to the doctor, you should go to the doctor. The reason why I love, not love it, but I wanted to help undiagnosed illness is because you've been to the doctor, they're not finding answers, so why not look at it all other ways to see what's going on with you? So one of the reasons why I I got into this field was when I'd go to the doctor and I'd have something wrong and you, you go and they're gonna run tests and like you know see what's wrong with you I was a nervous wreck waiting for the answers from the doctors it would take weeks sometimes and it'd be so stressful and it added to my level of stress and um, a lot of times even like the front office people would be just so ugly when you're so scared and worried about what's wrong with you and these people would be being nasty to you and rude and grumpy and it was just always a miserable experience for me so I just did not like going to the doctor that being said I still go when I have something that's seriously wrong with me um, sometimes if it's not that serious I'll work on it myself and and most of the time that's what I've ended up doing I, with the, the situations I've talked about and I put in my post earlier those are things that I ended up doing for myself um, but that was one of the reasons because it just it added to the fear and the um, anguish and the anxiety when you go to the doctor you go get these tests and you have to wait forever no you know it just and then people were being rude and grumpy to you it was just an awful situation and so that is one reason why I uh, got into this healing field because I, I just I've always felt since I was little there was more or less invasive ways to um, the, to heal than what's going on but again I'll reiterate you should go to the doctor <laughs> but especially if you've been and have and they can't find anything wrong it's time to look at alternatives they work they can help you heal um, and with the way I work it's you know we, we do the energy work um, I work with your guides they they help me you know find out what you need what what you need to work on and then we work on the, the mental part because that's a big part of healing too is working on what you have going on inside of you and I've said it before but every little thing I bring out here today in, in, in all my chalk talks is giving you a little piece on something to do that day to help you start to heal so that's it for today that is part of my healing story just wanting to have a better way to be less stressed, less anxiety, to take care of yourself. And that's why I got into energy healing. And then the, the, the channeling uh, came in with the energy healing and that's made um, my healings like so much more powerful because we're, I'm working with your guides to see what needs to be done and to help you. So that's it for today. Any questions, let me know.
if this can help anybody that you know, please show it to them. Um, so I want you to go do one thing that's self-care. One thing, one thing for yourself that is self-care today, whether that's a, a hot soaking bath with Epsom salts and baking soda and essential oils, or a meditation, or just listening to music, relaxing, do one thing at least today for self-care. And then I want you to go do one thing that brings you joy, whether that's go dance, sing, you know, run around the house screaming, laughing, joking, um, anything like that. Watching a movie, something that brings you joy. And then finally, write five things you're grateful for. Five things that you can find that are great that you're grateful for everybody can do it you have at least five things that you're grateful for and when you can start doing this more things will come your list will get bigger you'll start noticing everything in your life that you're grateful for even when you're at your lowest you do these things and it's gonna make a difference for you this can change your life um, this it would be the start of your healing journey this is like the start of you fixing the mental that's going on with you so go do those things today um, I hope you have a great day. I will see you tomorrow with Chalk Talk. And if you have any questions, let me know. I'd be happy to help you out. And uh, see you tomorrow. Bye.